India's data center story just got a massive upgrade. Last week, TCS, which is India's number one and the world's number one, now going to be AI services player, dropped a bombshell. They actually said that they're in- announcing an investment of $6.5 billion into a one gigawatt data center grid ban India. Now, this might actually signal a pivot for the industry itself, which is actually going to likely move from a human capital-based uh, industry to more of an infrastructure play. Look at Adani Connex, Google, Capital Air. All of these have announced an investment of over $2 billion in acquiring land parcels for next-generation AI data centers. Now, you also know about the latest, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, Google plus Adani uh, Connex made an announcement for an investment of $15 billion in Vishakhapatnam for a gigawatt scale power grid, uh, AI data center power grid that they're going to invest in. Now, according to money control, about 20 to $25 billion is likely to come into India in the form of data center infrastructure investment, which raises the question, why is so much money coming into data centers in India? And there are three very simple answers to this. Number one is India, like I just mentioned, is likely pivoting from a pure human capital play to an infrastructure capital play in the AI slash data center space. Now, we will continue exporting talent and people and code, but we'll also become an industry playground here for the global AI players. This is a big move, number one. Number two, this is also the reason why hyperscalers, telcos, and even IT services from the building and beginning to attract this kind of capital. The second and more important is data center now has become a yield asset like highways or airports and not just dead infrastructure that you have to have. It is actually going to become revenue generating and cash positive type of a business, pretty much like the tower sector was for telcos initially. It seemed like an overhead, but actually eventually became a lot more profitable and spun off into different business units by themselves. So India has a competitive advantage no one really talks about, which is construction cost per megawatt, which is the lowest cost of electricity is also the lowest cost of data, is also the lowest worldwide, and a massive talent pool, all of which can combine to actually trigger and drive this industry forward in a way that we can actually maintain data sovereignty locally, at the same time, play the game to our advantage and not just become another player, me too type of mode. So that's really why the investments are happening. So if you are in that space, I urge you to watch this because there are going to be a lot of opportunities unfolding and Don't miss the bus. Take care.